Uh, we here in Jasper, Tennessee at Fly Gym, and we're going to show you how to secure these loads today. How you doing? I'm here at Fly Gym. We have this load that tends to shift from side to side, so once I find out exactly how many layers I'm going, then I want to get belly straps on it because this stuff will shift on you. As you can see, they got cardboard edge protectors on the side, so it will be likely to shift on you. So you want to make sure that you have alternating pulls when you do this. When you're putting your belly straps on, you want to make sure it goes on the bottom part of your pallet, okay? So you can stop this load from shifting from side to side. You can talk to these loaders if you have a real big gap because this stuff is leaning back towards the right. So you can ask them to put it in, but this is one of the reasons why you want to have alternating pulls. So if you have straps pulling this way to pull it in, and then you have your other straps going out. You put your belly straps in and then you'll be fine. I have my load. I know he's only going two layers high. So I'm going to hook up my first belly strap to pull this in. So what, what I use is they have these cardboard edge protectors. So when you start tightening your straps down, you can start tightening it down on these cardboard edge protectors so it just don't start crushing your boards. Okay, so you, all you have to do is just bend it in like this, stick it inside. This will help from this not crushing into your, into your boards here, okay? So make sure that you use these uh, cardboard X protectors. Just make sure that you put them in here so it won't crush your other cardboard and your pallet. And you can get a nice torque on your straps. As you can see, we got two belly straps in it so far, okay? We're using our cardboard edge protectors. So when we start tightening these straps, this cardboard will compress up against it and kind of brace this stuff from shifting. It's important that you use these cardboard edge protectors on these loads because they will shift on you. So make sure that you use them. They have a whole bunch of them, so utilize them. Now we're creating, we're creating alternating pulls. We had two belly straps coming this way. Now we're going to have one belly strap going that way. When you're using these cardboard edge protectors, they're very easy. All you have to take your knee and bring it in so it can fold right up on your strap. And again, all you do is pull your strap out, stick your stick your edge protector in, and then pull your strap. Okay. Now we got our cardboard edge protectors in on our first bundle, okay? We got belly straps, all right? Then we have our straps on the top. And we got alternating pulls on both stacks. So we gotta keep them loose until we pull outside and then we'll tighten them down. As you can see, we have cardboard edge protectors on all our straps. I can't tell you enough how vital this is because you can get your, your straps nice and tight when you have these cardboard edge protectors when you start tightening your straps down against this load. It helps it keep it together. As you can see, we have it all the way down the load on both sides. This is a great opportunity to show you another load that we use, that we have, we pick up down here with these, these crates out here. When you throw your straps over, they must be on your wood. You cannot over tighten them, okay? So we do pick this kind of load up as well. But we're not picking this load up today. I just wanted to show you another load that we do pick up here. You must have your straps on top of this wood and you cannot over tighten them else you will start crushing these and then they'll start shifting on you. I'm gonna demonstrate again how to do these two inch straps. These hooks are backwards. You cannot tighten them into the load. You gotta tighten them away from it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your two inch underneath. You're gonna hook it on your rail and you're gonna let it hang. 
right there. Then you grab your strap. When you grab your strap, make sure it's not twisted. So all you do is just pull your strap like this, okay? Then you're gonna come behind the two inch ratchet strap. And then you pull it through. It's not twisted. You line it up, you bring your two inch up, you pull your slack. Then once you pull your slack, you just wanna get it started. So you just get it started a little bit. Once you get it started enough where it's, it's snug, you want to put the excess strap in here. So you want to keep it a little loose. So then you come back and you fold it up. You just get a nice little fold on it. Then once you get it up further enough where you can stick it in, the, uh, in between here, that's what you do that. That's when you do that. Sorry about that. Turn your strap around, you come in the inside. You hold it, you bring it down, then you get it started. Now you must pay attention to what's going on up there because you don't want to crush it. See how it's coming into the, the product? You just want to get it snug enough to keep it holding in there. Then lock it. You cannot over tighten these straps, okay? So now I'm gonna start tightening all my straps. I still wanna pay attention to how my straps is compressing it onto this load because you still can't over tighten it. But with these cardboard edge protectors, you can get these really tight. But you still wanna pay attention when you start tightening them. When you, when you start tightening them up, you gotta make sure you look up to make sure that it's not crushing anything. Now, I just completed tying all my straps down. As you can see, they're alternating pulls on the load. You can see how the cardboard edge protectors are protecting the load as well. So we have everything that we can possibly have on this load to stop it from shifting. But you still wanna make sure that you drive this load with care. Any erratic lane changes, taking these off ramps too, too, too fast, this load still may shift because you cannot tighten these straps down real tight. You have to keep checking this load, okay? So once you get your first 50 miles in the trip, pull over, check this load. Now this concludes securement of this load, okay? I did not put an X strap on the front because I got soft. Uh, cardboard boxes on the top. I don't want to crush them. So what I did was I used C-straps on here. 